Hey, hey y'all, this is Casey Hope from Pizzazz and we are back with another 10 minute challenge. So like I've said before, we have heard over and over from our community of ladies that they want to paint more, they want to letter more, they maybe want a Bible journal more, but they don't have time. We hear that over and over again. So we are here to show you that yes, you do have time and we're going to show you how. So uh, we are going to challenge me again to do something in 10 minutes or less. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Uh, and just for a little fun little competition, we have prizes. So if I do it in 10 minutes or less, we have got our gelatos and a couple of scripture cards that we're going to be sending to a subscriber. Now you've got to be a subscriber and you have to comment on this video. And if I do it in 10 minutes or less, we're sending this out to ya. We will contact you for your address. And even if I don't, we're still gonna have a consolation prize because prizes are just fun. And even if I don't, we're gonna be still sending you out some of our stickers. Again, these are stickers that we design here at the studio. We send these in our happy mail to our lettering club members every single month. And so we've got a few left over that we'll send to you too. And one of our favorite pens, which is a Posca pen. This pen will write on um, wood, canvas, glass, all the things. So if I make it in 10 minutes or less, a little bit bigger, if I don't, somebody's still getting this. So either way, subscribe and comment. Today, we are going to be doing this picture. It's just a simple, fun flower and says walk by faith. Now, oftentimes when I am lettering scripture or if I'm in the Bible journal, I don't necessarily illustrate it. Like I don't draw people and exactly what the words say because I just like flowers. I love doing flowers <laughs> and so I will do flowers and then add some lettering. And so I'm going to show you how to do that today too. Um, again, 10 minutes or less. That is the challenge. I have no doubt I can do this uh, that quick and you can too. So let's get going. All right, so here we go. We are going to be doing the verse 2 Corinthians 5, 7, uh, and we're going to letter the phrase. It's just a portion of the verse, walk by faith, because oftentimes we've got to be reminded to walk by faith, not by sight. If you are, um, you know, if you are a Christian, you know, a lot of times things that we see <laughs> don't make sense. And then God, as his word says, works all things for the good, for those that love him and follow him. So that's what we're going to letter today and paint, and we're going to do it in under 10 minutes. Once Again, I've got my golden high flow acrylics that I'm going to be using. I also have added in a little bit of my deco art white paint because I know I want to mix my pink with some white. And I've got a Tombow pen. Yep, so I've got my Tombow pen that I'll be doing my lettering in. Everything that we are using today can be used in a Bible journal if you like to Bible journal. All of these things are things that will not bleed through your page. We like to do it here for practice, but then if you're doing it on the Bible journal, all of these supplies will work perfectly in there. So here we go. I told y'all I'm setting a, a timer for, for 10 minutes. So I'm about to pull it up and we're about to set it. And here we go go. All right, let me draw it out first. Big fun flower. I'm using a gray, a gray marker, but I could use a, um, could use a pencil if you didn't feel comfortable with a marker. All right, we'll do just a little bit of greenery up the side. Very loose drawing, nothing I am doing, and you will get a theme of this, <laughs> nothing I'm doing is trying to be perfect, ever, never. All right, so I've got that drawing on. I'm going to letter first, and then I'll come back in here and paint. So, let's see. With my Tombow pen, I'm going to letter the word fate first. my fun F. Now, because this is a me trying to go super fast video, I'm not going to have, have time to walk you through all of the, the different techniques of lettering and all of that, but we do have a lettering club that will teach you that. All right, so I will quickly show you that we do thicken our downstrokes just to kind of give it that faux calligraphy look. I'm not going to do the smaller words, just the bigger words. And lettering scripture, whether it's in a sketchbook like this or with Bible journaling, is just a great way to sit with it for a bit, to think about it for a little bit longer than maybe you normally would if you're just 
reading and going about your day. It gets it in your brain more. When you need this verse, you remember it a little bit quicker. Maybe you don't remember exactly where it's from, but you remember to walk by faith and not always by sight. All right, so 2 Corinthians 5, 7, got that. Here we go with the painting. I'm going to take some of that high flow pink. I think I need a little bit more. And I'm going to mix it with just the white acrylic just to make it a little lighter. So I've got my plate and the white. And I'm going to lay that in. I'm going to come back with the bright, but just so that I have two tones, I think this will be good. You'll notice I'm doing this quick. I'm not, um, sometimes I'll see people that go so slow around the outline because again, they're thinking that everything has to be perfect. When you're doing it in this kind of whimsical style, everything is not gonna be perfect and it looks better if it's not. All right, so that's just kind of layer one. I'll come put some, looks like I need a little bit more yellow as well. And just a little few little accents here and there. Let's see, do a little curvies in the center. And then also with this yellow, I'm gonna pull some yellow over to my mixing plate, as well as some of this lighter green, just to make a little bit of a lighter green. And then we're gonna quickly lay this on the greenery. We will come back with a darker green. One of the reasons I really like this high flow paint is, do you see how like how fluid it is? It's a high concentration of color, but I'm not having to re-dip it back into the paint every other stroke. I can go for a while because of the high flow. That's really good whenever you're trying to time yourself, <laughs> whenever you're trying to go quick. Okay, so I've got that, and I'm gonna come back in with some of the green by itself. And I'm actually gonna mix some of the green, some of the two blues that I've got, just to make a darker green. And use that for a little quick outline. This was not in the original, this little greenery, but I felt like it needed it. All right, gonna clean that off. Go to my bright pink without any white. And just add like quick little outlines. I always want there to be definition. I don't ever like it if it's just one color. I'm always gonna want a little bit of definition, a couple of different shades, darks and lights. And there we've got that. And then I think I'm just going to need maybe a little bit of black in here. I'm gonna go a little rogue. I didn't do this over here, but I think I wanna put a little bit of the pink, whoops. A little bit of the pink around some of this too. It's just such a fun color. Like the pink is so bright and so fun. All right, let me give it a blow dry. I'm doing good on time. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a blow dry with my handy dandy Ranger craft tool. It's probably not going to dry it completely, but it does. I'm impatient. I totally could walk away and just be done and come back a little bit later, but even when I'm not on a timer, I like to use a blow dryer or a heat tool of sorts just because I want to, um, I want to get it done. I want to go into the next step. All right, so here we go. Coming in with my black. You could also, um, anytime you're using, let's say you're using black acrylic paint, you can uh, just water it down with water and that also works really well. But it does have to be watered down in order to have that kind of flow.
Notice these are not solid outlines, they're just quick, quick little scribbles that give a little bit of definition. And then just for extra fun, I like the little black and white dots. And there you have it, y'all. Less than 10 minutes. I have plenty of time to spare. <laughs> I think like about two and a half minutes time to spare. And there I have a super fun little painting, drawing, lettering, a little bit of focus on scripture and all in less than 10 minutes. So do not be telling yourself that you don't have the time to do it. Just get the supplies out, sit down and have fun with your art. All right, so we did it in 10 minutes or less. So you can too, grab your supplies. Really, that's sometimes the hardest part is just getting set up. So grab your supplies, get set up, and just tell yourself, hey, I'm gonna do it for 10 minutes. And you're gonna be surprised at how much peace and play, even if you don't do exactly what I do, you can do something in 10 minutes. So go ahead and get started. Also, don't forget, subscribe and comment because we're always giving away new things. and, and this this case we are going to be giving away some gelatos if you've never played with these or they're super fun they're almost like crayons a little bit like oil pastels they can also add water and they turn into watercolor so they're super fun and a couple of our scripture cards so um so yeah uh, comment below subscribe and if you want to get on the wait list for our lettering club be sure to do that too it's a super fun online membership where we're teaching lettering painting all kind of different fun things um, ways to kind of uh, combine Bind what we think on uh, with our art. It's called Whatever Letter Lettering Club because it's based off of Philippians 4, 8 of we think on these things, whatever is good, whatever is true, whatever is pure. So thinking on scripture and just spending a little bit more time with art and lettering just helps it get into our brain a little bit more, um, helps us to recall it as we go throughout our day and it's just good stuff. So be sure to get on that wait list if you wanna be a part of it.